So the second way to use the armor pack is to um, use it uh, with the uh, empty layer, not the fill layer, and do the mapping by hand using the projection tool. Uh, this way um, you get more control, but it's also more tedious. Um, it's also great if you, your UV scenes are um, visible or you want to do some more complicated mapping uh, of the um, material uh, just like I did here with the brigandine material. You can see that the, the material is mirrored horizontally on this line which I did by hand and for the for uh, the demo uh, I'll reconstruct how I did it so let's hide this this will be very and in demo uh, we create the mask uh, like before but uh, for all the parts all, all the islands at once so let's just choose the uh, element mode click and we have the mask on the Old or so. Okay, next we'll add uh, a new layer. Uh, then we'll set up a brush, a uh, brush in the projection tool uh, to paint in the material. Uh, so let's choose the projection tool. Uh, and this is the projection tool when you start it also set up set up to this one and this one uh, and what we'll do is we'll uh, drop our material to the material slot um, then we'll disable because we will be painting in the UV space we'll switch to UV and let's choose viewport uh, one disadvantage of this method is uh, you have to set up all the parameters for the material um, before you start painting with the fill layer method you always have uh, can uh, uh, go back to the fill layer and change some parameters here we will have to set it uh, first uh, and we'll set the height range much lower we s will set, we can look at this preview to see what we're doing, we'll be, our roughness will be higher or even better, let's, uh, because this roughness also changes the roughness of the metal I want to change only the roughness of the leather base roughness higher Okay, uh, we'll set the leather to be dark. Okay, uh, and then we'll test out uh, how it looks. And the projection painting is uh, actually quite. Uh, 
resource intensive so what I'll do it is I'll disable every layer above this one to make it easier for the program to paint and this is how our material looks uh, and if we are happy we go to the next step uh, and the next step is we'll find our um, UV island and it's which one is it? it's this one Oops. this is the front yep Space. We'll try to level it. Okay, and then by pressing S, we can place our uh, stencil, which our material, the way we want it. And because I want a um, horizontal mirror, I'll try to do it like this. This single um, stud uh, will be our rotation point. Uh, so we'll paint, paint just one side, rotate and paint, paint the other side and if everything goes well we should have a, a horizontal mirror. So let's place this stud in, in the center. Okay, so this method uh, gives me full control over the mapping of the material. I can paint over seams. Um, I can change the um, how the elements in the material are uh, matching one another. Uh, but it takes uh, a little bit more time. Uh, let's see how it looks with all the other layers. Uh, and uh, now I don't really have uh, control over the various parameters of the material I still can um, modify a bit how, how the channels uh, work for instance if if I'll um, uh, I'll decide the height of the or the roughness are uh, not uh, set up as I want them to be, I can go uh, in the uh, the channel of these of, uh, of the layer and for instance change the opacity so this will decrease the height of, of this layer. If I want to uh, change the color of, of the 
of the base color channel I can add a new filter to this layer choose only the color option and choose the hue saturation lightness uh, filter uh, for instance I can lower the luminosity and the same with roughness 